what the heck is this? You know, in the picture, they never show this. And then what the heck are those? Yeah. Then a few days after this, again, this is kind of the vindictiveness of people or how petty people can be. A few days later, you know, we got a request. I, I saw a, a message on my email from the Airbnb message board saying, oh, you know, we, you are being uh, charged uh, you know, for, for damage and excessive cleaning of the property. And we're like, what? And then I saw the price. And as I told the Airbnb people, like, guess how much they, they were charging us for damage and for excessive cleaning. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome back to our latest episode. Uh, today, we're going to be sharing what we've learned uh, about our Airbnb experiences here in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, well, I should say not Ge only yeah. Puerto Vallarta. Generally, but generally travel everywhere overall, in the world. Mainly yeah. because we've had a few issues here in Puerto Vallarta with our Airbnb and kind of got us thinking uh, as to other issues that ha have occurred um, and maybe how to help some people avoid these mistakes. Yeah, in the end of this video, we're going to share with you our the tips from our bad experiences or our booking experience. For people who don't know us, I'm Landy. And I'm Roddy. And uh, so we'll just kind of jump into it. I guess we'll start with uh, our experience here in Puerto Vallarta, mm -hmm. which kind of led us to this whole entire episode, um, kind of beginning with our first day and what happened there. Yeah, first day, we show you this video first. Hi, everyone. And now we're settled, OK? <laughs> it's been bothering me since yesterday when we stepped into this Airbnb. We booked in the central area in Puerto Vallarta. The host, yeah, to be honest, the host, they are nice. They're nice people. They've been answering us questions for Louis' daycare around, and her daughter even picked us up at the airport yesterday. Everything's cool until we walk in, and Rod said, Where is the AC? Like, I was shocked. I was like, walking, it's so hot. Because when I booked, I booked it. Yeah, he saw the picture, everything. I booked it. Yeah, everything's good. And we're walking, it's just super hot. And we find where is the window unit? We know there's no central AC in Mexico, but where is the window unit? And we walk, we looked around in the living area, that's nothing. And I was shocked because I booked it two months ahead of time. And then we walk to the bedroom and uh, okay, the bedroom, there are window units and uh, one nice one, one is just a one like kind of old style and made some noise there. So, okay, at least we have two and the owner asked us everything. Okay. I was like, yeah. And I was like, did I didn't read it fully or anything, you know? So that's the issue. And uh, the more I stay here, the more issue I found, I show you something. And the number one, look you walk to the what the heck is this you know in the picture they never show this and then what the heck are those you know i like a clean place i'm i didn't pay for those things look at the door like it's broken and then look at the ceiling and look at the lights there's no lights where's the bird and and then you come here to see, yeah, there are some couches already for the mess. We're packing up and leaving soon. And um, yeah, the TV is here, sure. But look, and look at that. Like, I'm not going to stay here for one month in this condition. And look, look at this. Rather put a t-shirt here because the insulation, you can see the balcony outside. And the curtain looks yellowish and not even clean. Um, yeah, it's just everywhere. So, uh, Oh, and the ends. Oh, and the rod. And this morning, Louis see this. Look. Look, that's ants made that. Right, like, just for the sanity. And, uh, and there are two fans here. And the kitchen. When they showed us the picture, was this angle. Look, I couldn't see the horror kitchen. And in this morning, we saw ants. Look, I show you. There's I already cleaned up some. There's another one here. Why well, I haven't even cooked anything yet. Right, right. That's another one here. I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Mm. I'm, I haven't started my cooking. And then I saw the area here. Look, it's just old. And I don't know. I don't know how, how I could cook here. There's no place to put the dishes to put. Um, it's just the whole thing and there uh, yeah it's like broken everywhere and another thing was I one of the pillow look 
that's the smoking. There's a hole here. That's from from the cigarettes. More on top. More on top. Louis see another thing no, here. Uh, yeah, and then some hole on the top. Yeah, Louis find more broken parts. <sighs> I mean, that's 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 the thing. That's what we booked. We paid about seventeen hundred four months. Seventeen hundred. And we cannot work here. Like it's so hot. It's very hot here, especially in Puerto Vallada during the middle of the day. It's super, super hot. Even we keep the window units on and the living room is still humid, still hot because the insulation is very bad. So we, after negotiation with her, she agreed with the whole thing. We just said it, it doesn't look like the picture she showed to us. She's a nice host, but it's not... It's not the water. I don't want to stay here for one month for sanity, just for horror condition. Location is good, walkable to everything. So the solution is, okay, let Ross say because there was a solution. Um, it's not the most ideal situation. I think it, we're taking a little bit of a gamble, but they said they would, whatever they rent the place for, they would reimburse us that amount. So again, if they rent the place for two or three weeks, they'll give us two or three weeks back of our pay. You know, again, the good thing, the plus about this place is that the location is excellent. You're literally two blocks from the beach. The price is reasonable for Puerto Vallarta. I mean, obviously, Landy told you we paid seventeen hundred. Um, so, but again, you have to kind of understand both sides. that don't really want to lose at the situation. And again, them being nice people, I mean, we're trying to work the best, fair situation. Uh, you know, we think this place can probably rent for at least two or three weeks. We understand that we're probably going to have to eat a little bit uh, of our payment, but I think at the end it'll be. The most reasonable, fair situation. Now, after seeing that video, what do you think? Um, I guess to give you a little bit of context is based on what you saw. Uh, again, that is not what was shown on Airbnb. The pictures on Airbnb, as I've told them and I've told the the host, were not well. They were the same pictures of the place. They were just probably from when that place first started, uh, which mm -hmm. could have been I think maybe four or five years ago. Uh, so what it looked like four or five years ago, very nice, clean, everything nice and bright, uh, was not what it was today. Obviously, there were holes in the wall, uh, like the light bulb missing, ants, the kitchen just wasn't. Yeah. They avoid showing you the kitchen because they know the kitchen it looks quite different. Um, what else? Yeah, and then what's the solution after this? Well, the first solution, uh, you know, we talked to the host, um, was pretty much, and I told her the same thing, was, look, you know what? One, there's, there's no AC in the living room, which was kind of the big thing. As soon as we walked in, there was no AC in the living room. Uh, there's only two ACs in the bedroom. And yeah, of especially course, for a place like a Puerto Vallada. If, if you don't know, it's on the west coast of Mexico. It's humid and hot. This place needs AC. Yeah. Not like where we live right now in Queletaro, which is the central Mexico. AC are not really, not a big issue. Right. You know, And, and the, I think the point that Landy had made to me was, it was a little bit kind of, deceptive of course they can always say no it wasn't we put it there uh, but it just said like air conditioning and two bedrooms so are they saying it's air conditioned and there's two bedrooms like that's what's kind of attractive about it right which was the point there that's what they were really saying was yeah there, we have two two bedrooms and both those bedrooms have air conditions but it's not very clear they just put two bedrooms ac mm -hmm. and, then, so, and again for common sense who doesn't put AC in the living room? That's the main area. People cook, people hang out, watch TV, or do some work. For us, right? For yeah, us. And work. there is no AC in the living area. It's not in my concept. Right. So once we read the title, we both checked the, the page mm -hmm. um, where we booked it. Right. So we, we didn't get a click, like a living room, no AC. Right. The, the AC means only for two bedrooms. Only for the two bedrooms, right? So yeah, the main... Space where you eat, which like we do like to cook a lot, or while we are even away from home, again makes it very impossible to cook or very difficult to cook. It's very humid, and then add more heat to that with all the cooking. Or of course, we we work, we tend to work especially in a place like that. There was not like it was set up like one of the bedrooms we could have used as an office, like where it had maybe a little desk. No, they weren't they weren't big mm -hmm. enough to have that. One one of the bedrooms had like two beds and like a sofa, and the bed just had the, the queen or king in there, yeah. and, and not much else. You couldn't really put stuff in there to work. And so we weren't going to work for a whole month in this kind of heat and humidity. Yeah, one month, not just stay for a weekend. Right, right. I think that was another thing. If it had been for a few days, we could have done with it, but not for a month. Yeah. So I spoke to the lady, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the final solution we had a kind of, 
accepted with her, which we really didn't like it, but we were kind of put in a situation, was that they would reimburse us whatever they for however for however many nights they booked it for that month. So of course, if they booked it for one week, we'd get one week reimbursement. If they booked it two weeks, we'd get two, and so on. Uh, and again, at that night, we just felt okay. We know what we need to get out of here. We get we found another place online. We just need to leave today. Were we happy with it? No. And we tried to make an, an agreement. Our what our side was. How about you just give us three weeks, right? And then, and if you make more, you make more. If you make less, well, yeah. Like we lost. lose literally, we lose one week. We call it loss. Right. But we move on. Right. But she said no. Right. Mm -hmm. Just whatever we you know because it's not our fault. You know whatever we rent we rent. You know. And so for, for them, it's a great deal because they just, they don't lose, right? They already have our money. And so if they only rent two weeks, well, then they take those two weeks, they give us our two weeks back, but they still have our first two weeks. So they still get the whole month. Yeah. Right. So for them, it's a win. You know, and again, we just kind of felt we were in a spot. So we just accepted and we left. Um, and then a few days later, after you know, we moved into our new place, uh, which we really liked, it was very nice and modern, right in a nice area of the romantic zone. Uh, we kind of started thinking and Landy asked me, you know what? No, that's not not fair it's not right there has to be kind of some issues we can do with airbnb yeah. under their policy and she had uh, read the policy and i don't know if you saw something or what yeah i was just a google search um air airbnb refund policy what kind of scenario sanity or during the stay and uh, when i google search it of course lots of article popping out is for before moving in then free cancellation or cancellation policy. But and I type in during the stay because it happens after we already stayed for one night. Right. Then it still says like you still can, um, but you need to let Airbnb know within the 72 hours. But right. we were already exist yeah, more, than, right. more than the 72 hours. Right. Um, and and uh, I told Rod, he, he's saying like, yeah, probably we couldn't get anything back. and. Uh, but I also said, but we also don't know. Right. Like, I don't know this policy. Right. And uh, that Airbnb host also didn't tell us, hey, you can let Airbnb to solve if you're not happy with my solution. Of course. She, of course, she would never say that. She, she would assume we know everything we don't know. Right. And, and then, like, yeah. I think you also made the point, which is a good point, was that, you know, we're still at the beginning of our, of our vacation. So, I mean, after a few days of kind of being on vacation, you finally kind of looked into it. But, you know, we're here vacationing. We're out doing things. We're not really looking into the policy, right? Reading through all the fine term and, and fine print and terms uh, until again, after a few days into right. it, we finally kind of, I think we're maybe like a week into it already. Yeah, vacation. about about one week, right. yeah. Um, so I called Airbnb and told them, again, this, this situation, I was like, look. Yeah. And the key here is one of the points, and we'll talk about it at the end, was take pictures and film, you know, of whatever problems you have. Yeah, right? good that I took a video. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because we told them about the situation, how there was holes in the walls, the door was frayed, there was like stains on the ground. Uh, again. Yeah, I didn't mention we, we, we already checked out that's more than 72 hours. Right. Because I didn't know this policy. Right. But that's how now I tell you if right. anything you could help us out. And, and again, they really didn't make an issue about yeah. that. Fortunately, they were just like, it wasn't even, it was pretty much a non issue. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they never really brought it up as far as like uh, against us. Right. So we showed them the video again, holes, door busted, you know, missing electric, like light bulbs. Ants, uh, even like a little like mound, like, like kind of the yeah. dirt where like ants kind of kick out the dirt after a day of rain inside the window seal. So there's ants in the apartment, just lots of things. And you saw like too many, yeah. right? Um, so they said, okay, send us the pictures, send us the video of what you have, yeah, uh, and we'll make a decision, right? Again, so they're kind of a third party. And then then the lady also said, but I said I don't have a picture. She said, oh, just a screenshot of the video that right. also works. So I took some screenshots, right? And that's what we sent as our yeah. documentation. Uh, and so once Airbnb. Uh, kind of reviewed it. They said, okay, they'll, they'll call the host. Uh, they'll kind of be in like an arbitrator. They'll talk to them, get their side, see if there's anything that they can work out on our behalf. Uh, I think two days passed, nothing happened. And on that second day, the lady who was helping us on Airbnb said, look, I have to be out of the office for two days. You know, it's my, my days off. Uh, I'll, someone else can take care of it or I'll just wait for me to come back. And we ended up just letting wait and let her take care of it because she'd already been in communication or had started the case. Uh, so we just that we can wait a couple of days. The day came where she came back, and I was like, hey, so what's going on? Mm -hmm. uh, has any decision been made? And she's like, well, I'm still waiting for a response for the host. And I was like, okay. But then like maybe 30 minutes later, I was like, well, wait a minute. I was like, how long do you have to wait for yeah. the host? If they, if they just don't respond. And she also uh, 
got our approval, can we send the same video you sent to us to show the landlady? Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And, and then I said, okay, that's fine. Yeah, let them see, right? Yeah, but that's the truth. I'm not making a story out of it. Right, right. I mean, you're right. Exactly. We shot what was there. <laughs> that's your place. So, uh, and then once I sent that message of like, well, how long do we have to wait? Because it just seems like they're not responding. Like, yeah. they're just trying to ignore mm -hmm. the, the problem uh, that we were going to give up. Uh, and then... Maybe after I sent that message to them, and maybe a few, maybe four or five hours later, they got back yeah. and said, "Okay, after looking at all the evidence, you know, we've exhausted trying to get a hold of them. You know, it's just too much. I guess maybe also maybe seventy two hours for them to respond. I'm guessing." Yeah. Uh, they said, "Okay, you know what? You'll be reimbursed. You'll be reimbursed your nights, and we got pretty much all of our nights back, back except uh, the one night we stayed there. But even that, we got it at a discount, like a seventy percent discount. Yeah, something like that, right? Uh, it was, we had to pay minimal for that first night." Uh, and so we got pretty much our money back, and but still not everything. Not from Airbnb. They still now the weird part was yeah that, that part. Airbnb mm -hmm. wanted to, to charge us the, the taxes for the full stay and their fee. Their fee I was kind of, I was kind of understanding, but you made the point again with the taxes. Like wait a minute, like if you only pay for one night, why are we paying taxes for like twenty eight nights? You know, yeah. it's like if you take. You know, like you go buy groceries and then you go take back one item. Well, no, we're gonna keep all the taxes from all your other groceries yeah. and I'll just mm -hmm. give you a little bit. Uh, so that doesn't make sense. Got back to them again very quickly. We're like, how about the taxes, this, that? And I didn't really bring up the fees, but definitely brought up the taxes because that was the bigger part. Yeah. And after a day or so, they said, okay, you know what? Uh, you're right. You know, you'll get back your taxes and, and your fees, uh, except for the one night, you know, right. which is fine. We're like, oh, awesome. So we got pretty much like 95, 98% of our uh, uh, money back, which is great. Right. That was a, a nice yeah. relief of. At the beginning, the lady answered you like, "Oh, that's the fees for some." Oh, to pay some local, like the local authorities. Local authority, the one uh, local. Yeah, uh, and, and I asked, I was like, "What local authority? Like, who do you mean?" I was like, "Yeah." You said local authorities. What do you mean? I was like, "You know, for cleaning this down." I was like, "Yeah, we didn't do anything." So anyway, mm -hmm. they, they, they gave us. Anyway, it's, they, a, it's a good ending story. Good ending, We're right. happy, everything. Oh, and one more story was the landlady. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was or, to, or her daughter, right. I was getting to that. No, mm -hmm. that's definitely the, uh, the good part of the story. Yeah. Then a few days after this, again, this is kind of the vindictiveness of people or how petty people can be. Um, a few days later, you know, we got a request. I, I saw a, a message on my email from the Airbnb message board saying, oh, you know, we, you are being uh, charged uh, you know, for, for damage and excessive cleaning of the property. And we're like, what? And then I saw the price. And... As I told the Airbnb people, like, guess how much they were charging us for damage and for excessive cleaning? The exact same amount of money that they had refunded to us uh, with a message from the host saying, oh, you know, you need to take responsibility for what you did. <laughs> and I was, oh. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, she, like it was, again, it was like 1735 1735 was what they were mm -hmm. asking for us to return. And I was like, this is ridiculous, right? And, you know, I called Airbnb and they said, no, you've already sent us the evidence you know, based on the evidence that you showed us, this and that, uh, like, you know, don't even worry about it. You don't have to even respond to the message. Um, and, and then I talked to Airbnb. And then, oh, they broke down everything. Like, we broke the mirror. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't know oh, the yeah, details. Yeah. I, I, found okay. out, I kind of looked more into the message a few days ago. Oh, oh, that we broke a mirror. Uh, we put the holes in the wall. And then she said she sent the same pictures of the two holes in the walls that we had sent to her. And that she was claiming that we did that damage, right? And, and some other things. Um yeah, that was all evident. That was already all there. Again, just being, being very oh petty. Oh my gosh! Yeah. like people can't go that ugly. Right. And, and I made a wall. I, I go to the Airbnb, not enjoy my vacation, lovely Puerto Vallarta. I go to make the wall. Yeah. A few holes. I damage the door. I yeah. make all the stay. I, I put the little sand over the dirt on the window to say, "Oh, you have ants." Yeah, I did everything. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So again, it was just a little bit ridiculous. Oh gosh. So. Uh, and again, and then they, they have tried to escalate it to the next step. But again, I, I was assured by Airbnb. They're like, you don't have to respond. Don't worry okay. about it. Like, you know, yeah, it's because you know, they, it's very obvious what they're doing, right? We put the complaint, we show the video oh, and, and, and the pictures, and then we were given a, a, a money back. And then they, the, the damages were miraculously the same amount of money. So even Airbnb is not that dumb. We've had some issues with them in the past, but it's obvious what the lady's trying to do. She's trying to get her money back and try to threaten us or scare us. Uh, you know, into you know, giving her the money back or some portion of the money back. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, so, when when the things go ugly, people can be just revenge you right, in a very, very nasty way. You know? Right, because you know a lot of the, the reviews for her were, oh, she's a very <sighs> sweet lady, she's very helpful. And again, on her to her credit, 
at the beginning, up until that point, she was. She was very nice, very sweet. Her daughter picked yep. her up from the airport. We'll give credit where credit is due. Yeah, even when I left, I said thank you to her. We shook hands. Right, like, right. I mean, I was not just give her cold face, like screw her, someone. No, I wasn't very <laughs> nice. Okay, I said muchas gracias, everything. Right, but I feel old lady manage the apartment. Yeah, sure, there's something exactly. going on. But I was not towards her. I was just towards the, the environment, not what we booked for. Right, right. So anyway, so anyway. That, that case is now closed. We got our money back, moved on to our new place. Uh, again, our new place was great, uh, very clean, very modern, nice pull up on the top with the- <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna show you the next one, the video you're gonna see. Yeah, you can see, check it out right now and see what you think. Are we leaving? Yeah, we just packed everything. Wow, and that was quick. We got a confirmation from the new Airbnb, so we're waiting for the Uber. And hopefully, everything will go fine. It's coming right here, that Kia. So we just checked in to our new Airbnb. I'm so glad we found this place. It's gorgeous. Okay, I let Rod do her house tour for you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I did, but here we are. So as Landy said, much cleaner, much better. Uh, a little more expensive, but again, I think you'll see the, the, the differences and how close we are. So again, over here, nice new kitchen, granite, you know, a little waterfall on the back here, if you can tell. Gas burning stove, nice new appliances. First bathroom over here to your right. You can have a little, ooh, pretty. Nice shower. Nice mirror. Nice mirror. And I've got first bedroom over. We've got a first bedroom, little hallway. Nice, clean, neat. Nice, clean, neat. I got my little mini me behind me. <laughs> Let's go show them the rest of the house, Baba. All right, as you turn back around, again, a little bit more spacious living room. Leather, full leather couches, maybe. Nice big window unit. Nice TV, all set up. And we come this way. We'll save that for the end. Now this is the master. Again, nice clean shower. That's the child. Big king bed. Very nice. Big king bed. Big closet for the three weeks we'll be here. Closet. Here. Uh, we actually have our own little small private balcony out here. But I'll show you the, the main balcony. Let's see, this is the right way. So this is a much bigger balcony. Uh, we have a mountain view, but you're gonna see it's very nice. Nice big table, tiled, nice. and that's our view. Not ocean view, but I'll take that. And you look at down, look at down here. Mm -hmm. So we'll be here for the next three weeks. I think we're gonna be a lot more comfortable. It's a good little walk. I would say maybe 10 minutes and we'll be at the Malecon slash beach at you know right straight down the road. So it's awesome. So we're gonna I think we're gonna really enjoy it here. So this is the rooftop pool. Pretty cool. Yeah, great view. Got beach and, uh, view that way. Yeah, beach view is over there. It's not even completed. You can see on my back, the bar area, they're still working on it. <laughs> now, <laughs> you can obviously tell the difference, right? <laughs> much different place, much nicer, much cleaner, so much more amenities, just, you know, overall. Uh, and we really enjoyed this place. Uh, we had booked it for three weeks, um, and we ended up, ended up standing about two, right, into the place we are in now. Um, now, this was a little bit more of an unfortunate situation uh, in the sense. It is just, uh, I feel it's a pity. Right. I have to leave that place. I, we both love this apartment. Right, and again, once again, just like most hosts, the host is very nice, and she actually, we, we've actually come to terms uh, with this situation, and she, and she was very friendly about it. She, she conceded and understood the situation, uh, but it pretty much came down to, it was such a new place that things started with uh, there was a little there was noise happening while they were trying to finish the building, right? And and again, on our side, we just thought that this should have been disclosed. You know, if you're if you know things are going on, it's a brand new building. 
that, you know what, the building is still being finished. I think there was only us, the other mm -hmm. Airbnb, and the old man. So only yeah. three of the units were occupied. No, and then I found out that the unit downstairs was. So four, mm. four of the 12 units were occupied. That means the other eight were unoccupied, and they're still kind of finishing, you know, doing little finishes, working on the elevator. Uh, and again, so this came with banging all the time during the day and sawing and, and just people working construction yeah some sound is from the building right no, that, that's how it yeah, started th that started right, right. and uh, also the elevator started oh <laughs> yeah broke four times four times in about and eight we're days, on right? the sixth story which is the top right then we have a stroller sometimes we have to take it down take it up and louis have to come up walk up the stairs we have to carry him which is no and, easy and feat. water <laughs> yeah and water <laughs> Um, so again, it is kind of it, those. That's kind of how it started. But then uh, the last week we were there, uh, they started building co construction on a house right behind us, right across the balcony, right, right across mm -hmm. the balcony, right. June nineteenth, Monday morning, about ten o'clock. Construction sound everywhere. I think it's from somewhere here. Another building. It's new. And of course, this one, right across our balcony. Which is maybe about four or five stories down. Uh, and again, so here we're talking about, once again, banging, which wasn't the worst thing. But then there was like sawing and metal grinding. Drilling. And drilling. That's and, the main And then jackhammering, right, which oh, was breaking gosh. up the concrete. Uh, <clears throat> and again, this was just... Any worse. Right. And once again, going back to the idea of if this is a short stay, maybe we could put up with it, but having to work, because when are we going to work? The hottest part of the day, from like 11 to 3, 4, that's kind of what we're going to do inside. We're going to do some work if we have to. And of course, that's what a lot of the construction is, is going on. I think even at 8 in the morning. They're Saturday. Awake. Yeah, on mm -hmm. a Saturday, they were waking us up. I was already awake. <laughs> but yeah. they woke up Landy, 8, 8 in the morning. This happened again the following Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and it was just, you know, so we got in contact with the lady. Uh, he has to watch. I can't control that, and yeah, we understand it. Yeah, well, you can't control that, you know. But this is it's just very difficult because we have to work. And we even moved uh, one interview. We already arranged mm -hmm. in our apartment then to the so, our guests' apartment. Right, right. Uh, which, which you'll see coming up later. <laughs> uh, great couple. So you know, she was understanding, and I was like, look, you know, she had mentioned that she was going to give us a discount. Mm -hmm. um, for for the, the disturbance, yeah. like, Look, I'll give you a discount. discount. She didn't you know. come to what how much discount, how many days discount, but she she was show her attitude to right. us like okay, I gave you some compensation. Right. Her good, uh, which, uh, which which uh, we appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and which would have been fine if it would have just been a kind of yeah. small little banging you know inside the building. But once it came to the everyday building, we're like now it's too much, and so I came up with the idea. You know, I think we had four days left, five days left, four nights. Yeah, so five uh -huh. days there, four nights. And I was like, look, you were going to offer us a discount. Just keep the discount, you know, whatever yeah. that was going to be, uh, and then just, you know, if you don't mind, just releasing us for the last, you know, five uh, five days, and we'll find a new place. And she was like, sure, without even hesitation. Her next re uh, email was, sure, no problem. Uh, you know, just change your uh, stay on Airbnb. I'll approve it, and it was literally that simple. Yeah, and she, at the beginning, she gave us a recommendation for workplace for workplace right yeah but our thing is we don't work nine to five right. we work we relax maybe two hours maybe interview here editing videos right do some phone calls right right but majority of time we're going to just relax in the ac the room right we're not going to be at the work yeah. at the co-working place for, for eight, eight hours, hours. Right. <laughs> and then to her she gave us a second solution she said she had another house True. which in the north of the airport which is also very nice but i, I check we check the map like but that's kind of too far right. it's a very nice house right. very if, new if you have a, if you have a car too. or you don't mind ubering every day we just can yeah. throw money at ubers every day and don't mind waiting and driving it was a very nice place it's just kind of like our place in zaki reminded me yeah uh, you know it had its own amenities had its own pool it was brand new clean three bedroom two bath it was very nice uh but again just too far so that was a nice solution on mm -hmm. her side again it just didn't work and so we said no we need to move out and again she said no problem right away nope not a big deal just change your reservation i'll accept it you'll get your money back and it was really that simple and yeah um, then we found out uh, what they returned us was only three nights, right. not not the four nights. Right. I said, which I couldn't because I couldn't do it on the Airbnb yeah. app. They wouldn't allow me to cancel it that same day. Right. Uh, but she said she talked to them and Airbnb had agreed and she had agreed. And so we were going to get reimbursed. Right. So, so that was pretty smooth. Right. So that was a much was, better case. Again, that's very deserving of a good rating, uh -huh. all that. Uh, so, you know, uh, kudos to that place. And again, in about a month or two, once that, that construction is done on the backside, because they're just adding one top to a, like a house. They're just adding like one story. So that shouldn't take too long, maybe a month or two. 
I would I would go back there again. Yeah. You know, first day. Yeah, yeah. That's, again, that's for a how good, nice she was, how, how nice the, the, the good location, how nice she was. Uh, you know, the furnishings, all the amenities there, great place. I would definitely stay there again, hands down. Our new Airbnb for a few days. We're actually on the new Airbnb. <laughs> so the check in was pretty smooth. We got up, we said the door was already open. And we walk in, what we saw is a very long hallway, like in the hotel hallway. <laughs> and as it shows in the picture, this the master bedroom with a king size bed. King size so, bed. Too big. Oh, even with the safe lockbox. So if you want to put your passport or some cash there, would be good. And then with the TV, um, the ace and um, a window unit here, a rain shower. Okay, it looks nice and clean so far. The AC. AC. So on the hallway, there is the second. Guess the bathroom, another ring shower, everything ready to go. And then that's the second bedroom, has two double beds. So for Louis or me, or who else want to take a rest here? <laughs> Anybody guests? <laughs> Any guests Nobody that come over? Us. Nobody visits. <laughs> so, wash and dryer, it's a must. In Porto Vallada, you need it. Because we change clothes easily three sets a day. <laughs> That's a lot of clothes. And nice kitchen, granite countertops, four stove, four tops stove. Um, yeah, I got everything ready. Looks good to me. Spacious. Another TV, important other AC in this living room. It's a big elephant here. So far, I'm happy with this place. No. How, how long are we going to be here? Uh, only for nights. So, it's also good. And, uh, and then, can give us the opportunity also really live in this area, which is one of the popular areas. Uh, and we can go see Chene. Our friend. What? We can go see our friend Chene. Oh, yeah. There was a, the taco place, which we love, the big taco. And sure, we're going to go back there. Oh yeah, I definitely better go there. And I uh, kind of find, need to find a rod, another fish taco place. He said, I really got to miss the fish taco place in the romantic zone. Oh yeah, if I would have known, I would have eaten there one more time. <laughs> <sighs> so we, we're going to go upstairs to check the rooftop pool and the jacuzzi. Uh, so now we're in this place. Uh, we're only here for a few nights, uh, just until we booked our last place for our last week, which is going to be in the hotel zone. Um, so again, here everything is pretty much what we expect. There's nothing great, nothing fancy. It's nice, it's clean. Uh, you know, it's kind of worth what the money is. Yeah. What the yeah. money, what, the, what you're paying for it is, seems to be <laughs> fair, right? It's not all nice and shiny and new like the last place. Mm -hmm. It's definitely maybe, I'm guessing. But it is spacious. Very spacious. It, it's still quiet. Very we, quiet. We do hear some kids here, there, but that's how it is. Yeah, that's life. It's, right? a, it's an apartment. <laughs> right. And upstairs, it's a, also a pool. It's the pool, and a, but not right the pool there. And right. also another thing is her place, the pool was right above the apartment oh, from yeah. our last one. Yeah, yeah. You could hear people kicking oh, and swimming. Gosh. Yeah. That, that, that was some experience we have never had before. Yeah, we've never had a rooftop yeah. pool before. Um, so everything seems to be going well here. I think our next place in the hotel zone uh, will be nice. We've got 24th floor, ocean view, five pools, you know, kind of more the resort yeah, style. Yeah, for the last stay. stop, just more chill. Yeah. Yeah, so for the final tips, for yeah. our audience, what we learned. So my first one I learned through working or working through the situation with the first lady uh, was again always go and they do tell you this uh, is do all you communicate through the Airbnb app, right? Uh, I don't know if other people have the same idea or feeling, but kind of once you get their phone number, sometimes it's just you feel it's easier to 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 communicate with them directly. You either just call them or send them text or WhatsApp direct to their phone number instead of kind of skipping that third person. Uh, but luckily we did all that, mostly. Uh, we did some of the communicating through, through uh, the Airbnb app. We sent all the, and we took documentation, right? Because they said, anything that you have on your own phone, uh, like direct text to text from the person to, to the host and you, they really can't use that, right? They, only, they can only kind of take into consideration uh, what is on the Airbnb app. That's what they're going to look at, right? To kind of see what's been going on and, and the back and forth between the two parties, especially in an arbitration where they're trying to figure out, you know, whose side is right mm -hmm. and, and they're going to try to make the best decision 
uh, for them, for Airbnb. But Airbnb app, you cannot send video, right? You can't send video. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to call uh, the call center, talk to them, and then they can send you uh, an email mm -hmm. where you can uh, attach the video. So that's how you have to do it. But again, it is it has the Airbnb heading. It's directly from Airbnb. And so that's how you have to deal with the videos. It should be a little simpler. They should allow you to just to be able to put video on the Airbnb app. That would kind of simplify mm -hmm. things. But that's an issue for Airbnb to work out. So do all your communicating through the Airbnb app. I know they say it. Maybe we don't do it. Do it mm -hmm. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Uh, what else? And always take pictures and the videos when you feel something got issues. Right. I've done that before. Yeah, by it. the day. I even announce the day when I take a short video. Don't make the video too long because when I send a very long two minutes video to Airbnb <laughs> email, it doesn't work. So it's automatically go to a Google job, but Airbnb person access. said it doesn't, I couldn't open it, then I have to edit it to make it short, you know, cut it, then yeah. send, and finally it works. Right. So that's some, some tips, make it short. You can make a few short videos right. instead of very long videos. Right. Yeah, make Which sure the point. date and time, yeah. And, and again, so it was things like going to the second one, uh, of course they say you know, if you break anything or use too much electricity, of course you have to pay for it. We walked in, uh, I saw a couple of stains on, on the, mm -hmm. the bed, which one of these, but again, very light. They look like kind of liquid. That sounds odd. <laughs> but again, I just took pictures and said, look, you stay. I know you said if anything is broken or stained, we have to pay for it. These stains are already on, on the, the bed. Uh, the bed. Uh, she said, no, that's fine. We understand. Same thing in this place. So there's a couple of cigarette burns. But there shouldn't mm -hmm. be smoking here. Uh, yeah. uh, but there are some cigarette burns on the couch. And I was like, hey, you never know how many. Maybe this one is a lot of smoking. I didn't see no smoking sign on the uh, door. But next so. door has Maybe. a no smoking right. sign. Right. Maybe it might have been peeled yeah. off too. Uh, but anyway, there's like three <laughs> anyway. or four cigarette burns. Again, I came in. I took a picture. I said, yeah. hey, I just want to make sure that you know that these cigarette right. burns are here. And it get documented through the app. Just because you never know when things might happen. Right. And if you don't document that, they can always come back and say, you did it. And how are you going to prove you That's did it? That's true. But just like the first place, when that old lady later on say, oh, you destroy our wall. But when we saw, we step in, we saw the hole, we didn't take any picture. Right. But well, we did that That's next day. The but next, next day, yeah. But she, oh, yeah, next one, you already destroyed my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. So do it right away. Uh, right. And again, I know that seems kind of like the common sense uh, thing to do. But sometimes you're on your vacation, you don't just think about yeah. those things that we didn't. Uh, but since that, everywhere we go, we kind of do a real walkthrough. Any little thing we do. Yeah, any sh like a stain on the sheet, bed sheet, right. like the last Holes, one. Holes, this, that, things in the wall, dings. Anything you can <sighs> find, take a picture to send it. Be like, hey, we just want to make sure, you know, that this you, you understand that this is here, you know, we, as we got here. And again, like the last two places, no, we understand. That's fine. Uh, but it's, again, it's just good to have that documentation in case things turn, go south, and you have an argument, and they can always blame you for it. Yeah, um, another thing I learned is even... I was very carefully read everything, but still sometimes don't assume things. Like we, oh, I assumed, oh, there must be an AC in the living room. Yeah. Hey, but there's no AC in the living room. The story started. Right. And always, if you don't know, not so sure, always message. Use, yeah, message the host. Is there AC in every room or you mean only in the bedrooms? Clarify everything. Everything, right? Not, yeah. So, yeah, not, not just, just in Mexico. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. If you have a question about anything yeah like the first picture we did ask is this the view from your balcony and then she said oh no it's just a general Puerto Vallada picture just to kind of give you the feel of where you're going to be which, which again which well, should have been an indicator because we yeah. were very far we were very from far church. from that church yeah. but which is good I don't be, want to be too close to church anyway oh, I know but it's, it gets to just the point yeah. that why were they putting that picture there like there's so many other pictures of Puerto Vallada you can put right. why you put in that iconic church that's and, and with the balcony right because her place does have a balcony right so right, it's kind it, of it have, some right, it does have a little balcony, yeah. that, that little railing on the bottom. You can see it, and then you see the, the, the top of the church. Which again, yeah, I think it's just kind of tricky. Yeah, and so let it, me put it this way: tricky. one back, you kind of yeah. see like they're already kind of starting those little games. Yeah, and, and also um, from her Airbnb, the first lady, she put a, a, a logo of the matches. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't even see the the window units. That was just the LG remote for right. AC. Only one remote. Right, one, only one remote. One remote. Right, because it was one. Only one new unit in the in the place. The other one was a very old style, this old kind of plastic. And a very the loud. Right. Uh, and of course, they don't show you that remote. Sure. Right. They don't show you that older unit. Right. They, mm -hmm. show, they show you the kind of one new one they have, right? And then the mattress is the king size bed in the bedroom, but on the, the guest room, one, one mattress is very bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even the bed sheets looks just kind of old. Right. A lot of little weird things they did. <sighs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, kind of getting off on that first one. So, anything else? Document. 
mm-hmm. uh, uh, verify anything that you're not aware of or, or you just haven't you're not sure about just document it do a uh, message to the host yeah um, anything you need to know like especially for construction like for the second one or for the third one sorry <laughs> I have to ask the owner, is there any construction going on or in the surrounding area around this building? And she said, no. Right. right. I just want to clarify because there are a lot of construction going on in Puerto Vallarta. There is. It's a, it's a growing city. Yeah. There is a lot of construction. But sometimes uh, they just don't see it. And of course, I did check the review. From the review, nobody mentioned there is no AC in the bedroom. Right. And second place, it's pretty new. That she only have a few reviews. Nobody mentioned construction. Right. But, but I think I should ask her before. Right. But it, sometimes it, just from the reviews, you couldn't see. Like yesterday, we talked to the, our guest from interview. He said, oh, we always choose the super host. Oh, what's the name of super yeah, host? Yeah, super host, right? Yeah. And I said, so yeah, that lady is a super host. That's how her, her page just popped out. So high. Right? Very high. And she does have... A lot of reviews, like 245. I, I didn't read everything, but from all the reviews I read, even use translation and it sweet lady, nice very, lady. very high. I talk about the owner is how sweet that that's the time maybe you should be aware a little bit. <laughs> because you know, even yeah. like when you left, I mean, we tried to be as nice and cordial because nobody wants to be mean to an old lady. No, right? yeah. that's how we tried to be friendly, like look, you know, about the situation. You know, I, we, we, me and her sat down in the other apartment and just talked for a little while. Uh, nobody wants to be mean to an old lady. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think even with the reviews, I think sometimes people kind of kind of let that get into their head, especially if they stayed there for only a couple of days. Oh, she was so sweet. She was yeah, so nice. Yeah, she brought me coffee in the morning. Sure, she also brought us coffee. Right. But which is the sweet part? Right. I mean. But, 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 but there is a snake under there. Yeah. There, there is some venom there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be aware of that. And also be aware of lots of close shots. Oh, Very yeah. close off of the stove. Why don't you, don't you show me the whole picture? The whole kitchen. And a weird angle, like try to cover the whole right. kitchen, but in a very... She took a, a low angle of yeah, the bar. Yeah, very low like, angle. Kind of up at the bar. Try to cover the whole story. Right. You couldn't see the stove. You couldn't yeah. see the, the inside of the kitchen. Yeah. All those little weird things. Yeah. I don't like very close shots. Right. Yeah. When, mm-hmm. when you, when you tend to see when you look at those more modern uh, Airbnbs that are newer or very clean, they show you, they have like 20, 30 pictures. They show you everything, every angle. Right. Is, you know... I think this one only had maybe like 10. I mean, it was, it was yeah. much lower amount of pictures. It was very low. And it, like, like I said, very close up on the couch. Why don't you back up and show the whole living room, right? It's weird. Yeah, things close like one stove. Why don't right? you show me the whole countertop? Right. Because right. there's no countertop. Right. Well, it's a tile, right? Yeah. Which again, that's, that's a little kind of pay thing on our side. But it's just, again, this looks a little bit kind of deceptive, right? And again, like going back to the stove, it was when it was brand new and taken. When we got there, it was like stained and old. And you can just, uh, the sink was all like, Kind of broken and just ugly, and it's, yeah. I'm I'm done with that first place. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Yeah. Um, so those are our suggestions. Those are our tips. Any last ones you want to add in there? Yeah, I think just also watch out if you have a car. Lots of people drive around, drive to traveling with a car, and uh, just make sure you have not a street parking. Which is kind yeah. of difficult here in Puerto Vallarta. There's yeah, it's, it's hard. Parking. Just make sure because we got a bad experience once they told us, yeah, you can just park on the street. Oh, yeah. Right. San Luis Potosí. Yeah, the, the owner suggested, but then we got robbed. We got broken into, right? Right. Yeah. So that's the some story. If you have some, of course, we don't want to put a valuable belongings, common sense things, right. but still, you're going to be aware. They may just break the window, look for something. You just never know. Be right. aware with that. Have right. a like, individual or Parking or, or lot. Know how close a uh, uh, overnight, parking, lots. Yeah, yeah, overnight, overnight parking lot is, is to the place. That's yeah, important. Don't, just be safe. Right? Yeah, just, just make sure every time you book it, make sure what you need. You, you need a wash and dryer if you, that's a necessity for you. What we're, course, fi- what we're finding out, Puerto Vallarta is a necessity. Right. <laughs> Puerto Vallarta, definitely. You, you, you change three sets of clothes a day. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you make a check when you're looking for things. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what what's the, what are the important amenities to you? And yeah, make sure to check them off when, yeah. when you do your AC, search. AC, make sure. In construction. Beach, in beach areas, yeah, you'd be surprised how many places in Mexico don't have AC, even by the coast. Right? Yeah, and then for beach, sometimes the beach is very rocky. It it that's close to a beach, but the, the beach was not very nice for swimming, or sure. it's not very swimmable, like in uh, what's called the Los, Los Cabos. So you're gonna also be mm-hmm. be aware with that. Right. So we've got it's to a lot do of your things. research. And again, it's, it's weird little things that we found out as we've kind of gone through <laughs> our, our, our travels you know, here in Mexico uh, and abroad, you know, individually before we met. Uh, it's just little things we learned. I'm sure we're leaving out a lot of other things. You know, are there any other travel tips you know, or concerns you have when you travel or any issues you've had with Airbnb? 
uh, where you know, Air, the host was deceptive or did something wrong, or with your even with your interaction with Airbnb. I know we, we, this one for us have been good with Airbnb. We've had a situation in the past where it wasn't so good with Airbnb. Yeah, uh, good, good, good and a bad. Right. Convenient, yeah, good for a family, for a long stay, we need more space. For sure, it's better to stay here than yeah. some hotel room for a few days. Yeah, thing. yeah that it's, I mean, for, for some people, we still need it. Right. But there's also the RBO. Yeah, it, what is it? it, it same, same. It is. Yeah. I know it's the same. Uh, I, I, I'm not just talking about the customer service yeah. part. The customer service part was the good and the bad. Yeah, right. I think so far, it's, they, they're getting better, I think. Yeah, there's, a few, things, there's, there's a few things. There's a few things, you know, I don't like how they have definite de de deadlines on things. Like we tried to write the review. Oh, the review right? part. And they said, oh, no, once, certain, certain things, like once they pass, they're kind of a hard deadline. Oh, that's in the, in the system. We can't change anything about that, right? Yeah. Uh, or even if, even, if, if, even if hosts lie about you, completely lie about you, right? Like, again, they left the place dirty. They did this. There's, no, there, there's nothing you can do to fight back about that. So a host can put yeah. anything they want against you. And again, or the same thing. I know I've heard the same thing from other people mm -hmm. that the guest can write anything about the host and there's nothing that they at Airbnb can do about oh no once the, the once it's there it's there unless it's like there's hard evidence or it's a blatant lie it's a lot more difficult to take uh, reviews off than it is to put them on yeah like the the one of the hosts wrote the bad things about me like oh you left our place in some way so for the you got a big issue there right. oh you left our place really dirty yeah. like then then may yeah, then I, I could I don't know here. how to how to reply to that it's not right. a very clear instruction right term. and they said you couldn't and they said that well they're allowed to write whatever they want to write yeah nothing we can do about it so even if it's a lie even like, if it's well, a lie. we were there for one night with a baby right they're, they're telling you we, we destroyed the place and had a party but so just like this lady she may give us a very bad review like right. we destroy mirror destroy this like and, and they, can, yeah. again, they can say whatever they want and there's nothing you can do about it then then give us a bad feeling is when we book the next one like for our next one, that host already right. like, saw asked, that. oh, I, I, I saw people give bad review on Landy. She only have 3.5 score. Da, 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 da. And I said, yeah, because we, that time we have to explain. We got some issue with the host. Right. And, and explain our side of the story and hope they yeah. believe it and go from there. Right. But that's uh, how so. it is for, for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you think. Uh, leave a comment, you know, uh, subscribe, all the good things that you can do for us to help us out if you like our, our podcast. And uh, I guess we'll see you later. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.